When choosing which fabric to use for DIY acoustic treatment, there are a few frequent questions that may come to mind. Does the fabric type affect acoustic performance? Can any fabric be used for sound treatment? What is the best fabric to use? Here are some things to consider when selecting a suitable fabric for your acoustic panels. The first and most important thing is acoustical transparency, which can simply be referred to as breathability. This parameter explains how well fabric material allows sound to pass through its surface without significantly absorbing or reflecting the sound. Understand that the main goal of sound absorption is to allow the core absorption material to do its job as effectively as possible. You must ensure that your absorption panel is wrapped in an acoustically transparent fabric. Sound waves travel through air molecules, and having a loose-weaved, breathable fabric will certainly help the sound move easily through the air molecules. Some people use blanket materials for their DIY acoustic panels. While this may sound like a good idea, it is important to note that most blankets already possess strong absorption properties. You might also be thinking, well, if blankets do have strong absorption properties, then why not use them to get a lot of extra absorption? This is what happens when you wrap your panels in blankets. Sound hits the surface of the blanket and gets significantly absorbed before traveling to hit the core absorption material within the panel. This means that the blanket now acts as the primary absorbing material, while your intended core material becomes secondary or even ineffective to a certain frequency range. Using a blanket over your absorption material may also lead to overkill on the treatment, making your room sound too dead and dry, which could cause unwanted resonances in the room. This will defeat the goal of absorption rather than fulfilling it. Blankets are by default a sound-absorbing material and are not suitable cover materials. If you can't acquire any of the industry-standard absorption materials, blankets can come in handy for your project. You can simply throw them on your walls or even put them in the frame if you want them to look a little pleasing. You should also avoid using reflective material over your absorption material. Materials such as plastic, cardboard, and picture canvas are not suitable as cover materials. These will reflect your sound into your space, increasing echoes instead of reducing them. Here are a few recommended fabrics with their acoustical transparency ratings. These are industry standards that have been tested and trusted for years. You'll find them in most professional studios, home theaters, and listening rooms. Burlap has the highest acoustical transparency, with an average rating of 97%, meaning it allows 97% of sound through while absorbing the remaining 3%. This is due to Burlap's loose weave, which allows for wider airflow and sound movement. Next up is Guilford of Maine FR701 with a 95% rating, polyester linen at 94%, and cotton duck canvas at 92%. Cotton duck has a slightly tighter weave compared to the rest. If you're using cotton duck for your DIY project, be sure to check the weight per square yard. Use the 10 or 12 ounce. Any weight above 12 ounces tends to be heavier, thicker, and more rigid, which can negatively impact acoustic performance. Keep in mind that you can use any other fabric of your choice if you can confirm that it is acoustically transparent. One way to find out if the fabric is suitable is to simply hold the fabric up to your nose. If you can breathe through it easily, then it's a good fabric. If you find it a little difficult to breathe, try a different fabric. The second factor to consider is durability. You want to know how well the fabric can resist wear and tear over years of use. 12-ounce duck canvas has the most resistance, with a breaking strength of 195-pound force. Guilford of Maine has a 150-pound force, polyester linen has about 100-pound force, and burlap has the least resistance at 79.7-pound force. The final thing to look at is appearance. Aside from the acoustic performance and durability of a fabric, you also want to make sure the fabric fits in your space aesthetic-wise. You don't want something ugly, dull, or out of place in your space. So, what's the most beautiful fabric to use? This is totally up to the user's preference. Therefore, we're going to leave that for you to decide for yourself. As they say, beauty is in the eyes of the beholder, and one man's trash is another man's treasure. We hope you found this video helpful. If you like it, do us a favor and give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe and share as well. If you have any thoughts or questions, kindly leave them in the comment section below. Thanks for watching.